Jones Corner. Hi friends, Counselor Jones here. And today we are going to talk about kindness. Have you ever had someone tell you to be kind or to use kind words, but you just weren't sure on how to be kind or what it meant to be kind? Well, that's okay, friends. Kindness can mean different things to different people. The meaning is in how you choose to show it. And to me, kindness is sharing, being friendly, and respectful. In the story, What is Kindness by Rachel Clifford, I think we all may have a better understanding about the word kindness and what it means to be kind. Friends, if you have this book, go and grab it and follow along as I read to you What is Kindness by Rachel Clifford. Also, if you enjoy listening to stories that would make your mind stronger, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and we can go down this lovely journey of growth mindset together. Let's begin. Lizzie had a week to learn everything she could about kindness before giving a presentation to her friends. So she opened her notepad and went on an adventure. Mommy, mommy, I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. What a great question. Mom smiled. Hmm, kindness is giving one of your favorite people a surprise to make them smile. As if by magic, Mom revealed a freshly baked chocolate cake. Lizzie couldn't help but laugh and smile as she shared a slice <laughs> with Mom. Then she jotted the answer down thanked her mom Thanks, and mom. went looking for more answers. That's when she spotted her dad in the living room. Daddy, daddy, I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. Wow, what an interesting question, dad gasped. Kindness is fixing something for someone. As if by magic, Dad revealed Lizzie's favorite toy from behind his back. It had been broken for weeks, but he had managed to glue it back together. Lizzie thanked her dad, Thanks, Dad. gave him a big hug, and wrote his answer down before running upstairs to visit her brother. Tommy, Tommy, I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. I'm guessing it's presentation week, Tommy laughed. <laughs> you know what? Kindness is sharing the last bite of chocolate with someone you love. Lizzie wrote down his answer, then made another note. Always ask Tommy for his final piece of chocolate. That was good information to know. But Lizzie still needed to learn more about being kind. So she decided to call her grandparents. <coughs> Grammy, Grammy, I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. What a lovely question, dear, Grandma replied. I think kindness is thinking about someone else before you even think of yourself. If you go and ask your mother, I left a present for you. Lizzie ran to ask her mom, who handed over a mom, present from do Grandma. You have a present from when Grammy? Lizzie opened it, she saw a pair of socks Granny had knitted herself. I don't want your feet getting cold, do I? Grandma chuckled. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grandma. 
Lizzie cheered. Hooray! Lizzie was so excited that everyone said something completely different about kindness. She thought it was interesting that one word could mean so many things. Once she had written down Grandma's answer, Lizzie asked to speak to her grandfather too. Grandpa! Grandpa! I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. Kindness, Grandpa thought for a moment. Kindness is when your grandma goes shopping and always remembers to bring home the chips I like. Lizzie laughed. <laughs> her grandpa was always thinking with his belly. She thanked her grandparents Thank and decided there was someone else she wanted to ask. Her dog, Spot. Spot! Spot! I'm doing a project to learn all about kindness. What does kindness mean to you? Lizzie asked. <coughs> Spot barked. Hmm, Lizzie thought. I will put your answer down as taking me for walks. After talking to her family about kindness all day, Lizzie finally had enough information to start her presentation. She designed a big poster showing all the different ways to be kind to others. And she couldn't wait to show it off at school. The next morning, as Lizzie was carrying her poster into school, she noticed her friend Kimberly was crying. <laughs> What's wrong, Kimmy? Lizzie asked. I dropped my poster on the way to school and it landed in a puddle. Kimberly sniffed. Now it's ruined and I have nothing to present. Oh no, Lizzie gasped. That's awful. She looked at her poster, then at Kimberly, then back to her poster again. Then Lizzie had a great idea. Why don't you present with me? She said. We can be a dream team. Yes, please. Kimberly smiled. Lizzie and Kimberly presented together and everyone was impressed. And there is one more thing, Kimberly announced. Kindness is letting your friend present with you when their poster gets ruined. Thank you, Lizzie. Everyone clapped and cheered. This is Counselor Jones, always reminding you to be kind. Bye for now, friends.